Much of the work in the vibration industry centers around the concept of resonances. In a previous video, we defined a resonance as the dramatic increase in the amplitude of vibration of an object that is forced to vibrate at its natural frequency. When running vibration tests, we regularly encounter resonances in the products we test. These resonances have several important features. Today we examine a few of these features. One characteristic of a resonance is its amplitude. The amplitude of a resonance indicates how much more acceleration the device under test, the DUT, has than the acceleration of the shaker. The amplitude is represented in the graph as the peak or highest value of the curve. That highest value or that highest point is the amplitude and its frequency value is referred to as the resonance's central frequency. In the vibration industry, this amplitude often represents an acceleration value. In other industries or settings, the peak or amplitude of a resonance may represent a voltage or a current. In the vibrating widget test, the long arm or the long beam had a resonance with a peak amplitude approximately 35 times the acceleration of the drive or of the shaker head. We see that in this graph here of transmissibility. This line represents the vibrations of that end of that beam compared to the vibrations of the shaker head. The shaker head, as we can see in this acceleration profile, was set to run at a half G value. The end of that long beam had an acceleration peak in this resonance of 17.62 G. Well, 17 Gs compared to the half G we were asking for is a 35 times value, which is what the transmissibility graph is showing. This portion of the graph here represents the resonance. And similarly, in the acceleration profile, this represents the resonance of the end of the beam. Now, uh, and that's the long arm beam. We do note here that we did pick up some resonances of the shortest arm and the middle arm. And I have done some other tests, which we may show in a future video, but in the widget test we ran, the accelerometer was mounted on the end of the long beam. These resonances of the short arm and the medium arm are not accurate in the sense of their amplitudes because the accelerometer is sitting on the long beam and it's picking up that these guys are vibrating at their resonances and we see a resonant value, a resonance value for each of them. Well, we can take a look at each of those arms independently when we put an acceler accelerometer on them. The point here is to focus our attention on the graph and the resonance that's associated with it. What I just emphasized is that this represents the resonance and it has a peak amplitude. 